Hello everyone! Exodus here! Welcoming you back to one of the hottest gaming adventures I've played in a long time. We're back with the Chronicles of Quiverdick. <sighs> Richard. Yo, yo, Richard. Don't be hiding that trick. I'm watching you, boy. Richard Longschlongen. <laughs> God damn. Richard Longschlong and I are gonna continue our adventure. I hope you're all ready. I was born ready. That's just because I'm also a Richard. All right, middle name, middle name. All right, uh, mm -mm. all right, let's give this door a whack. Let's start the adventure by Richard Longschlong whacking off on a door. Wait, hold on. So what did I break? I had a rusty hand axe? I thought I broke it. Why does every fucking axe around here break after three fucking swings? Seriously, every axe I've found has been rusty and worn beyond repair. Do people not even take care of their tools? No. A bit of an odd rant to go on, but I'll allow it. <laughs> Your rant is approved. Can we go in? Oh, I gotta push my... Walking through this insecure doorway may make you feel fatter than you actually are. Would you like to enter the house? I'm fat and happy, why not? Unless it's the wrong kind of fat, it's supposed to be like pH, you know, like, I remember at one point, pH 18, you know, fat, pretty hot and tempting. Hey, all right, I entered what appeared to be a hunter's cabin. The witch must have killed the hunter inside and taken residence in his once peaceful home. Or I could have the wrong house. What's that thumping noise? Hello, someone there? Who is that? I'm trapped down here. Please help me. That evil witch will be back soon. I'm on my way. I received 25 XP. That legendary figure had, uh, I hope it's a reference I can get. I don't want to feel like a jack monkey. I'm guessing it's the trap door making the noise. I can't believe it. That face already looks familiar with Vinny. Yeah. How y'all doing, man? Can I help you? What are you doing here? Just grabbing the last stash of herbage in the forest before I go up to see my brother. I should really get going, though. He's been waiting for me, and I've been waiting for him. It's been way too long since we've jammed. It's gonna be great. You take care now. Be good, man. I know who that is, but I'm having problems placing it. Luckily, editing will cover that. I can go ahead and look it up. I know who it is, because I recognize the beard. I will, Vinny. You probably shouldn't lie to him. I'm coming home, brother. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. He will be missed. Damn right. Yeah, yeah, I think I... Yeah, that was worth it. 100 XP for just that. Oh, references. I descended down the ladder. I was quickly met with the smell. What the heck just moved out of my peripheral? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I descended down the ladder and was quickly met with the smell of rancid flesh and God knows what else. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's not gonna let me look. Oh. Thank goodness you're here. I've been trapped in the cellar for ages. You're the witch, aren't you? Is your mother Rhiannon, the innkeeper? You know my mother? Ah, uh, I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah, she sent me to rescue you. Come, let's make haste. Would you like to save the game? Oh crap. I got another person on my team, and she's level one, so she's useless. Yeah. Hello? Uh-oh. It's her, the witch! Back, foul creature. Is that any way to treat a woman in her own home? Tracy the witch. Okay. Okay. I almost skipped that. Uh, that she may or may not have stolen from an unsuspecting hunter. Told you. Back off. I'm warning you, witch. 
And just as I let those threatening words slip past my lips, I realized just how beautiful the creature that stood before me truly was. What? Her eyes were like diamonds. Her skin like fine leather. Ooh. Her hair as smooth as silk. You can't be fucking serious right now. Are we looking at the same person? It was then that I knew what I must do. I had to marry that woman. I just want to go home. No. No, 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 no. Just fucking no. <laughs> Sorry, but this is where I draw the line. <laughs> no. I did not go through this much hell to finally rescue this hot blonde girl just to end up marrying an old hag. Can, 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 can Quiver Dick's wife be hearing this right now? What? Uh, absolutely not. I won't fucking do it. I refuse. Pastor, what? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to. Be oh, what? <laughs> Always remember, Quiver Dick's in control of the story. Oh, come the fuck on. To witness the union of Richard and Tracy in holy matrimony. Ooh, Grandma and Grandpa are getting married. Ooh, yeah, I'm so excited. Go, Grandpa, go. Which is an honorable estate that is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and soberly. So let's keep a straight head before you marry. I wish I wasn't sober for this. And to this estate, these two persons present, present, present. Damn you, English language. Come now to be joined. And that's, my, that's the only language I know. Uh -huh. Is there no God? Not for you, man. If anyone could show just cause why they, they may not be lawfully joined together, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Uh, um, me? I object? This has to be illegal. He doesn't object. He's just kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm 100% serious. I don't want to do this. Yeah, well, come on. Come on. You know that old witch can suck start a Harley. You know. You know she's got experience with that age. His objection doesn't count. I'm a terrible person. I'm putting you on the spot there, Richard. On what grounds? Um. On the grounds that I am him. Except I have seniority because I've been around longer. Burn! Fair enough. Let us continue. This is so not okay. You may now recite your vows. Richard, I know we've only known each other for ten minutes, but this has been the happiest ten minutes of my life. You may not love me yet, but one day I promise that you'll at least be able to tolerate me enough to let me cook kidnapped children into stew for you. That's just... Is anyone else hearing this shit? That's, that's, that's kind of my reaction. That was beautiful. Richard, do you have anything to share today? Oh, this is gonna be good. Old hag, I know that you think you love me, but you truly don't know me well enough to make such a rash decision such as this. Please, if there's even a shred of decency and goodness in your heart, you let me go and be happy with someone else. Preferably the innkeeper's daughter. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, snap. Well, I suppose it's a good thing that I don't have a shred of decency or goodness in my heart. Sorry, dick. You're stuck with me. Ha! Yeah, that was great. Sorry, dick. This is normally where we'd say I do and exchange rings, but it looks like you already have a wedding ring, Richard. What? Oh, God, I do. What the fuck? When did I get that? It's just... He, Richard's just genuinely lost and confused in this whole entire ordeal. And here we are as the player slash viewer. I'm just totally... This is great. Don't worry about it, dear. All right. I've got a horse race to get to. Big money on seat cookie to win the whole derby. So let's wrap things up. Abracadabra. Shamalama ding dong. Open sesame seed butt. You're married. Peace. I <laughs> God damn. That was rich. <laughs> so random, but so good. <sighs> oh. <sighs> I forgot. I need that oxygen thing. Well, I guess this is my life now. Congratulations, Grandma and Grandpa. 
How long have you two been married, Grandpa? Yes, Grandma looks just like she used to. Oh, about six months, kids. Wait, <laughs> wait, six months? You look like you're 75 years old. That's what happens when you get married, Richard. All the life you once had just kind of gets sucked right out like a really bad blowjob <laughs> with your partner using nothing but tea. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy I'm divorced at this very moment. Oh, tea. Ah, delightful. Oh, God, we don't need none of that. Woo! Oh, man. We're back at Old Man Quiver's house. Thanks for telling us that awesome story, Grandpa. Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry, kids. If you like that story, there's plenty more where that came from. Stew's ready. Stew's ready. Eat up, kids. What's is what's that called? A double. It's a double something. I don't want to use the wrong word and look like a dumbass. So we'll just go ahead and say that's a double meaning. Thanks, Grandma. Eat up, kids. You kids, eat up! The kids that are inside the bowl! <laughs> oh god, that's freaky. Thanks, Grandma! Hey, I was wondering, what ever happened to the innkeeper's daughter? Um. Hello, is anyone there? What was that noise, Grandpa? Can anyone help me? Is someone trapped under the floorboards, Grandma? Oh, don't you worry about that. Just eat your stew and shut the fuck up, dear. <laughs> okay, Grandpa. They just... Okay. Turn in, tune in next week for another boner-inducing tale where stuff will happen. People will talk. Innocent creatures will die. Oh, whatever his name is. Murgle, Fergle, Slippin' Jackin. I can't remember his name. Creature in the river. But most importantly, last will be had. See you next time on The Chronicles of Quiverdick. Oh, is that the ending? Oh. Let's go ahead and go through this, though. Thank you for playing the Chronicles of Quiverdick. Crankage Games, awesome people. Hopes that you have enjoyed your time playing, and hopefully you've had a nice laugh. If you did enjoy your time spent, and if you would be so kind as to leave us a review, it would really mean a lot to us, as it helps us out in so many ways. Please feel free to look for other stories by Crankage Games, such as Metal as Fuck, and future episodes, yes, of the Chronicles of Quiverdick. Again, thank you so much for playing and your support along the way. We hope to grow more and more. With your help, and we appreciate each and every one of you, Crankage, Crankage Games. Special thanks to all of the supporters from Metal as Fuck that made it this possible. Your names are in the game, and if they aren't in this one, don't worry. They'll be in the next episodes of The Chronicles of Quiverdick. You guys are so awesome. You guys are so awesome. Drew, okay, so those are enormous support. Thank you guys so fucking much. Title screen illustrations, you guys are awesome. All these people here who helped make this game are awesome. You gotta give them all mad credit, because they're doing some good stuff. Especially for people who might have issues in life, like me. I have so many ups and downs that a good laugh is just like what I need, you know? I, 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 got, I, gotta, I gotta be perfectly blunt right now. I am so sad it's over. But, that sadness is taken apart completely with that ending saying future episodes. I'm beating up my controller. Very just Get the hell out of my head! Let's go. I'm with you guys. Any future episodes you guys make, I'm on board. I'm looking forward to it already. That's so awesome. All of the NPCs in the game for, for supporting Metal as fuck. I, you know, that's just so cool. Because he pointed out the Exod you know, Exodiceus. That was so cool. That was so cool. Yeah. And I've been, I've been, I've been checking out other people. Now I can go watch their playthroughs of this and see how they, they reacted. Maybe I can find references to those players too, because I know they're going to be in there. A pretty nice community of people surrounding this game. And Crankage Games have, has built this community. And I hope over the next X amount of years or whatever that that community can grow because this game and this series has been amazing. Chronicles of Quiverdick, everybody. Let's go ahead and say Chronicles of Quiverdick, Chapter 1. I would give it another name, but I don't know because it was pretty much 
meeting my beautiful bitch wife. You can put a little W in parentheses. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed. Give support to these people if you can. Buy the games yourself. They might seem like they're, you know, oh, I watched you play it, so I don't need to know. I cut out a lot. This episode, no, because this is the end. But I cut out a lot of fighting and stuff. The combat, the gameplay itself is beautiful. The story and the humor, that that just amplifies the game. You know, it's always about play, so I think I better stop rambling. 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, take your pick. Whatever number works best for you, okay? If I want to be a dick, just because it's in my middle name, 99.5 out of 100. And the, point, the point 0.5 that's gone is because I'm a dick. Yeah. No, I'm not. It's 100 out of 100. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back again real soon. Till then, take care, everybody. Peace.